Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin Jeet WooCommerce gift cards and in particular about the option gift this product, which will allow us to purchase gift cards for specific products available in our store. So today we're going to learn how we can configure and manage this feature. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, we are inside the demo I have prepared for this tutorial. And in this case, I have already enabled the gift this product option so I can show it to you first from the front end. For that, let's go ahead and open one of our products. For example, let's see this one. As you can see, when this option is enabled, we're going to find inside the product page this new box with a message to gift this product. And additionally, we're going to find this link that if we click on it, we will find all of the options to configure our gift card, which will be created based on the amount of this specific product. So for example, in this case, this gift this product card will be created for $100. So this feature will allow us to purchase gift cards for the same value of a specific product. Of course, the person that receives these cards will be able to buy any other product from our shop. The only thing is that the amount available will be the same as the price of the product that has been suggested as a gift. Now, as we have already seen what this option looks like from the front end, let's go now to our plugin so we can see how to configure it. Once inside the plugin, we need to go over to the Gift This Product tab. In here, we need to enable the first option, which of course we have already done. Then within this tab, we're going to find two sections. One regarding the product page options and another one that if we scroll down, we're going to find over here regarding the email options. Now let's begin with the first section. And right here, after we enable the Gift This Product option, we will find some more settings available. For example, we can decide if we want to include the shipping cost in the gift this product option. Then, if we do, we're going to find another option. For example, the plugin allows us to set a custom shipping cost, which, if it is left disabled, the plugin will take the shipping cost configured already in WooCommerce. Then, if you do decide to enter a custom shipping cost, you will be able to set it right here from this other field. However, for this example, we don't really need these options, so I'm going to go ahead and disable them. Next, you're also going to be able to decide if you want to show the gift this product option in the shop page, decide if you want to show an icon for this option along with the title, and over here, you can decide on the label style, either show only a text or a button. Then on this field below, you can enter a custom message, for example, like the one we have over here. And finally, you can enter the custom text for the label and further customize the colors from these options available. Now, every person that receives a gift card gets an email notification. And in this case, this email will also include, besides the gift card code, the information of the suggested product along with the link that will redirect to the shop so the person can easily complete the purchase. So over here in this other section, we're going to find some other options to customize this feature. For example, first of all, we can set the button text. In this case, we have enter go to the product. Then we can decide where we want to redirect the user, either to the product page or to a different page. If we select this option, then from this new field, we can decide, for example, if we want to redirect the user to the shop, to the cart, or to any other page in our shop. For this example, I do want to leave the product page. And finally, we we'll find these two other options, whether to automatically add the suggested product to the cart and whether to apply automatically the gift card code to the cart. In this case, I do want to have them both enabled so I can show them to you in just a few moments from the front end. Now, before we continue, let's go ahead and save all of our options. Perfect. Now that we have seen and configured all of the options available within the gift this product feature, what I want to do is actually go back to our front end so we can see a real example. We're going to go ahead and purchase a gift card for a specific product and I'm going to send it to my email address so we can see the email notification that we received. So let's go ahead, let's go back to our page. 
Okay, and we can try it with the same product. So we're going to open this one again. Here we go to the gift this product box and we click on the link to configure the card. First, we can choose the image, either the same product image or a different one. And in this case, I want to select, for example, this one, because in the email, besides the gift card, it is also going to show the product that has been suggested. So we can go ahead in this case and select a different image for the card. Then we need to complete the recipient's info. So for the name, I'm going to enter mine, Maria. Then I'm going to enter my email address. And finally, we need to complete the info of the sender. In this case, again, Maria. And we don't need to enter any additional message. Now, all that we need to do is click here to buy this gift card. Now let's go over to our card and let's quickly review the product. Over here, we have the image that we have chosen for the gift card. Then it specifies the product that has been suggested. In this case, the blue transparent luxury watch, which is being created as a gift card. And finally, as we have learned, the price or the amount available for the gift card will be the same of the suggested product. Now, all that we need to do is proceed to checkout. I have already completed all of the billing details so we can go directly to place the order. Perfect, we have successfully completed the purchase of our gift card, so we are ready to go over to my email to see the notification we have received. And this is our email. Over here, we can find the message, Hi Maria, you have received this gift card from Maria. Use it on our online shop and then all of the details of our gift card. Over here, we find the image that we had configured along with the amount available, which is $100. Then below, the users will find the details of the product that has been suggested along with the button to go to the product, which will redirect the user directly to our shop. And finally, the gift card go. So of course, let's try it. We're going to click on this button. As you can see, first of all, we can find this message indicating that the code was successfully applied. Then we can notice that we have been redirected to the suggested product page. And finally, if we see our card, we can see the product has been automatically added. So if we go now to checkout and we review all the details, we can find here first the subtotal for the product, which will be 100 then the gift card that has already been applied for 100 so of course the total balance that the user will have to pay will be zero now finally before we finish today's tutorial i'm sure you may be wondering about one thing and that is whether it would be possible to enable the gift this product feature but exclude specific products and the answer for this is yes this is totally possible and it's very easy to do to exclude only a specific product from the gift this product feature, all that we need to do is go over to the edit page of the product and disable the option from there. To show you, let's go over to our shop. Here we can open any of our products. Let's go with this one. And at the moment, the option is still available. We have here the gift this product box. So let's go now to edit the product. And to disable it, all that we need to do is go over here and select this option. Disable gift this product. Now we're going to update. We go back to our product and as simple as that, we have excluded a specific product. Now the gift this product box is no longer available. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.